<laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Okay y'all, in today's video, my grandma came up with this concept. So hi, shout out to Grandma Mary Star. How you doing girl? Um, she does not want to be on camera. Let's start off this video right now. My 100 year old grandma. She called me up the other day. We were just chatting about life, by the way, you guys. She wears a wig every single day. She drives around and she's just living. My grandma is a hundred years old. Yes, there's still crickets, I think, somewhere. <laughs> that, like, she is a hundred, which is so beautiful and she's had such an insane life. Um, sadly, she has outlived all three of her children, including my father. Um, she's outlived her husband and a lot of our family, so it's really crazy. Um, and I'm just so blessed to still have her in my life, you know what I mean? So, we were talking the other day and she sent me a link to one of the world's oldest makeup tutorials from the 60s. And I was like, Grandma, what the hell is this? I clicked it and I, it's like, it's, we're gonna play it in a minute, and I'm gonna follow the entire video. It's insane, it's really funny, it's vintage, it's crazy, um, and it's insane to see how far we have evolved in the makeup community. So, um, my grandma said, Jeffrey, I don't wanna be on camera, I'm 100, I've had a really um, long life of having no one know who I am, and I wanted to stay that way, and I said, Grandma, one day I will do your makeup on camera, but I have to respect her wishes. Today, we are going to film following the world's oldest makeup tutorial. Okay, before we click play and I follow this tutorial, I go, what the hell were we doing in 1969? Um, I think I was 20. I I'm just kidding, I was not born. But my mother was born, I think, in 1962. So I googled it and I go, what was happening here? Oh, hi, first of all, there was no Jawbreaker and Morphe palettes. Okay, that was not happening in 1962. But we landed on the moon! Hello, humanity landed on the moon. In 1969, a lot happened. And actually, Christian, what did you just tell me? Uh, it was, it's like... 50 years. Literally, that was 50 years ago, and so much has happened in the makeup world. Um, I was Googling it, you guys. The cost of living in 1969, the average income per year was $8,500. Oh my god, the average cost of a new house, $15,000. Oh my god, this is crazy. Gas per gallon. Any guesses, y'all? 35 cents. Oh, well, it's $5 in Calabasas. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so we're going back in time, you guys. We are traveling. Besides Apollo and all the amazing things that happened, the beauty uh, world was a lot different. There was no scandals. There was no, uh, no one was canceled. And everyone just enjoyed makeup. So let's roll this amazing clip right here and let's see what the hell they were doing back then. All right, you guys, I have a bunch of products in front of me that I usually wear on the daily, so I'm just gonna grab whatever will be comparable to whatever is in this video. Okay, I'm a little nervous. My grandma said that this was like sickening and how she used to do her face, and I'm like, okay, girl, relax. All right, let's start. Go easy. Oh. Or the results can become ludicrous. Ludic. she looks stunning. Take advantage of what's there. Okay. Accentuate the good points. Minimize the others. <laughs> Optical illusions can, in many cases, produce the wrong okay. effects. I am an optical illusion. A light base will make the eyes look smaller. Ah! Uh, A dark base will make them appear larger. Pause. Um, by the way, her skin looks really glowing and very, like, dewy and amazing. I know that there was no primers back then, so I guess I'm just stuck with what I have right now. Here we go. Foundation is used as a base for the rest of your makeup. Oh, she's already doing foundation. Work the foundation from the center of the face toward the hairline using gentle oh, strokes. Oh, my. Make sure it's blended evenly. Thank you. Okay, let's pause. Oh, my God. No beauty blender. No Morphe sponge. Nothing. No brush. Your fingers. Okay, guys. Let's do it. I'm grabbing my Le Mer. I thought this is a bougie video. The whole setup looks sickening. Let's grab my most expensive foundation. <laughs> this is the Le Mer Soft Fluid. I have used this a lot on my channel. Um, and I am a new, I am shade Ivory 02 for anyone out there asking. I get asked that a lot. This is a brand new bottle. Oh my God, bitch squirted more than that girl me had a threesome with. Okay, so we are going to, I guess, rub this on my face. This is crazy. I never do this. <gasps> God. Okay, guys, here we go. Ready? How do I do a, how do I look in the mirror? I didn't think about that part. Okay, ready? Here we go. Whoa. 
<gasps> okay. Let me put my hair back so we don't turn into a mess. Oh my God. She said outward in and make sure it looks even. So this is the old days, you guys. They had nothing else besides their fingers. Can you imagine? Like you gotta get in the crevices. This is nuts. I'm grabbing a mirror. I don't care. We gotta do it. I, I can't not look. <gasps> Oh, it's not bad. Whoa, this is a really weird because we never do this on my channel. Like what, my fingers? Sometimes you just gotta dive in like the old days before all the trickery, all the brushes, everything. You just gotta go back to the old school. So I'm not, I'm not really minding this. But how did they get in there back in the day? Like, do they have fingers? Not, they didn't have this in 96 and 93. <laughs> oh my God, the vein in my forehead's popping out. Okay, I'm nervous. Okay, we're blending out. It's all even. What do you think the next step is? Like, did they conceal back then or no? Well, I guess we're about to find out, right? <sighs> okay, while well, we're blending out this forehead. <gasps> oh my God, this feels so crazy. I wanna grab a, a, a sponge so bad. Okay, let's see what the next step is. I'm really scared. Cosmeticians will guide you in your color choice. What is this dog? They literally showed a picture of a dog on the ground. Okay, oh wait, cosmetician? What in the hell is she talking about? Is that what they called them back then? Cosmetician? Is that just, is that normal? Cosmetologist? I, okay, l let's go. While a reddish skin can be toned down with a beige foundation. Oh, really? Blot All right. off excess with the tissue. Blot off excess foundation with the tissue. Do we have tissue in here? Mm -hmm. We do! Oh my god! Kleenex, send me a check, Miss Thing. <laughs> oh my god, I wish not sponsored. Okay, um, I just wanna see what happens if you blot off the excess. Like, she was just so, oh my god, there's some com coming off. Why isn't she setting it with, there has to be powder. If there isn't setting powder or anything in this video, <laughs> I'm gonna be shook. A lot's coming off. If you have disturbed skin, Disturbed! Are available. Uh, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta play, I gotta play that back. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta. Oh my god, we're playing that back. Disturbed skin. Sorry, one more time. Medicated makeups are available. Oh, she said medicated makeups are available for disturbed skin. Is that what they called it back then? That is mean! Dark circles under the eyes are often caused by not enough sleep oh. and lack of iron. She's concealing. Lack of iron. To cover them up. Is that me? Use a foundation two or three tones lighter they didn't... than your base. Oh my god, okay. Or a highlighting cream. Blush is applied. She's already doing blush. She she took five seconds on concealer. She blended it out like, yeah, bitch, what? Okay, so they said a foundation. We're obviously gonna use concealer. Hi Magic Star, how are you doing, girl? Um, she used her fingers, you guys, and I have these long nails. Look at the foundation already. See it in my sides of my hands? And there's dog hair everywhere. Oh my god. She said that dark circles could be from lack of iron. I don't have dark circles, right? Um, okay, look at my hair. It's like a <laughs> who am I right now? Let me, uh, here we go. She blended this out with her fingers. Like, I don't know about all that. I mean, I have to follow it, right? <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with Magic Star Concealer in shade C7 and C2. I love mixing. Um, my truest match is C5, but it's not handy. By the way, you guys, this will be restocked middle of September, maybe like next week. Hi, um, it's been a long time coming. She only put the concealer under her eyes right here. Like, I want to do it here so bad. Okay, we're not doing it. They didn't do that back then. They did not have extreme highlight and contour. We're going to reel it in. Okay, let's blend. Why is it actually blending? I mean, this is what we really did in the old days, Christian, like in the 90s, when I was like four. Like, we used our fingers. Look at that. Look, I'm going to prime my lid right now. There has to be, if there is an eyeshadow in this video, I'm, I'm quitting. Delete the footage. <laughs> Look at my nail. What if my nail just stabbed me right in the eye? Why isn't it looking that bad? Whoa! Hi, you guys, back in the day, amazing makeup artists like Kevin Aquan, they were just hands in, like, they worked with their fingers, and they didn't have crazy nails, obviously, but like, if you really wanna get the job done, use your hands. Hi, Magic Star, pump through. Whew, that was exhausting, though. Carpal tunnel the house! Okay, not bad for just the fingers. I'm, I'm actually not mad at it. All right, here we go. To give cheeks a quiet glow, White glow. A good rule to follow is never let blush come nearer the nose than an imaginary line. Is that blush clear? From the is that blush clear? 
Blush should be applied from the center of the cheek outward and up into the temples. Blushes can also be used for contouring. Example. Oh. Three shades darker than the foundation. Okay, 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 hold up. Her blush, by the way, looked invisible. Maybe there was no pigment back then in cosmetics. But let's pull out the Morphe X Jeffree Star Cover Me Blush. Blush Rush. Look at that. Hi. So pretty. Um, we're gonna go in with a little Marc Jacobs in shade Lines and Last Night. Scandalous. Okay. She, her blush, literally, I couldn't see it. Literally, there was nothing there. So let's at least put something on. By the way, not setting the face, you guys. I, it feels weird. This is really bizarre. Okay. <sighs> Hi. All right, so I like to take the brush and just go up into the hairline, into the cheeks, and then diffuse it a little bit. Yes. Hi, instant cheekbones. How you doing, girl? <sighs> okay, we are blushed up. Now, she literally went right into contour. I'm like, oh, hold on. She likes to use three shades darker, she said. So let me grab, um, hi La Mer. we're gonna go full bougie the whole video. This is the bronzing powder, it was from last year. Um, I've been using it forever, I wish they would remake this. I'm gonna use the same brush, and let's see what she is doing. Point up a cheekbone, or diminish a wide jaw. Ooh, diminish me. Powder sets and blends your oh, makeup. Oh my God, she's already setting. The simplest powder to use is a colorless, Translucent one. Thank, thank God she's setting the face. Pat on liberally. What? No! Cotton that can be thrown away is the best. Oh. My. Okay, she literally took a cotton circle, dipped it in the setting powder, and, and went. Whoo, and. Okay. I'm gonna go get a cotton circle. Be right back. Okay, I'm shook, by the way. I don't even know how to act. By the way, can I tell you, look at, look at the huge dog next to her vanity. <laughs> oh, wow. What the fuck? What, uh, what is happening? Okay, guys. <sighs> let's try it. First time for everything on this channel. All right, let's get Magic Star Setting Powder in shade Rose. Um, I need to do a playback because that was so... I couldn't even process what the hell she was doing. So, hold on a second Pat here. on liberally. A tuft of cotton that can be thrown away is the best powder. Okay, that's insane. Literally, okay. Oh, ho, oh, ho, ho. Why did she kind of make it look good though? That's what was kind of shocking to me. Here goes nothing. Oh my God, it actually kind of blends into the skin. Okay, 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 I'm not mad. It felt really scary at first. Whoa! My concealer actually looks like the best it's ever looked in a long time. Oh my God, throwing away all my brushes. Whoa. She just like put it over everything like she was just living. <laughs> okay. Listen. That like put that right in my mouth. Wait for okay. the powder to set. Oh. Then with another clean powder puff, brush away excess. Oh. With strokes. Okay. Oh, this music is amazing. I feel like I'm in another dimension. Salute paralysis. Okay. Eyebrows frame the eye. Oh, Focus eyebrows? No, bitch. No, ma'am. In the shaping of the nose. What the Pointed hell? eyebrows can make a nose seem longer. What is that? To remove straggly brows. She's taking baby oil and wiping her eyebrows. Baby oil and pluck with tweezers. She just said baby oil. Pluck with tweezers. Oh my god. Never pluck eyebrows further than the line, even with the inside corner. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right here. Other plucking should be done under the brow. Other pluckings. And never above it. Never above it. That's actually smart. The color of your eyebrow pencil should be as close as possible to your natural color. Oh! Only the darkest brunettes should use a black pencil. <laughs> Only the darkest of brunettes can use a black pencil. Bitch, I used to have red hair and black eyebrows in uh, high school, so reel it in, Miss Thing. Um, by the way, her voice is kind of soothing. Like, very ASMR y. Okay, she's doing crazy brows. Bitch, absolutely not. Okay, ready? This point of the arch should be a straight line from the outer edge of the iris. Okay. 
Come on, Iris. The end of the brow should form a straight line past the outer corner of the eye. Okay. To the side of the nostril. That's not bad advice, girl. Okay, quick story since this is involving my grandparents. In about 10th grade, you guys, all the way back then, it was the very first time I shaved off my eyebrows. And I've actually never let them grow back since, fully ever, since then. And that was a very long time ago. <laughs> um, and my grandpa and my grandma were not into it. They were, f like, kind of spooked. It was different times. There was really no men in makeup at all. And I was kind of very, a first of my kind in that era of just being, like, crazy and fearless, right? So when I shaved them off, like... It was a huge deal, and my grandma freaked out. So now she lives for it, she accepts it, but um, they weren't always as uh, accepting as they are now. Anyone else can relate? <gasps> She's looking at herself like, yes, bitch, I'm that one. Oh, wow, okay. What is this person doing right now, I wonder? Mascara applied to lashes would complete the well-groomed eye. Oh! And is sufficient eye makeup for the early teens. The early teens. However, if you wish to give more attention to the eye... Yes! You may use the following procedure. Procedures?! I love a good procedure. Okay, she literally said you can do mascara right now and be done. Can you imagine me being done with my makeup right now? <laughs> it's like, it's just a joke! Okay, uh, let's see what following procedure she is talking about. A lid highlight with a creamy pale shade <gasps> is flattering to most eyes. Whoa! Never wear bright, obvious evening colors. What?! Never wear bright evening colors on your eyes, bitch. Are you kidding me? The Jawbreaker palette is gonna beat her ass. Okay. <laughs> okay, she literally put a cream base on her eye. It's like brightening. It looks actually kind of pretty. Okay, let's find something comfortable, shall we? Okay, we're gonna go in with the Jawbreaker palette really quickly. Now, my nails are so long, you guys, I can't get in my eye. So I'm so sorry, Grandma. I have to cheat. Um, I'm gonna just go in with Shade Jawbreaker. It's a very nice, icy pale color, and I'm gonna put it all over my lid. Um, I wonder what that was back then. I wish we could see what products they're using, because that would be crazy. Okay, let's see what is next. The dog again! A contour and emphasis, oh. a taupe or brown shade, is oh. placed into the lid crease. What is that and brush? Just above the lid. And just above the lid. Oh, I, yeah, it actually is, bitch. For Work. recruiting eyes, a dark shadow on the lid will make eyes seem less prominent. For protruding eyes. For deep set eyes. That's me, deep set. or very light shade on the lid will make the eyes seem more prominent. Mm, uh, depends. Of of exactly the same distance apart. Uh, These eyes Oh seem my god. Closer. Okay. The effect was achieved by concentrating Oh my god, the, the paper animation. I'm fully gagged. By bringing the eyebrows closer together. Here, oh the of widely spaced my god eyes is caused here by placing the shadow and brows outward and far apart she's living her best life really white or beige. okay good, good, good. Oh, oh, okay we're gonna dip into tasty and cone this is insane this looks insane I've done my foundation and concealer with my fingers how'd that go uh, go, you tell me how I look. Do I look. horrible or good I mean it looks looks no. all right I like it I mean it seems a little thin. <laughs> I mean, it just depends on what you're using too, though, I guess. All right, yeah. So I'm just trying to live my life like her. Like, I mean, she's living her best life, so. Look at her. Like, her skin's glowing. I don't know, man. So we're just we're just trying to make it through the night. My grandma really is trying it with this one. Oh, is she? Imagine that lady just shaves her eyebrows off in the, at the end. She's like, fuck you. Right. And then <sighs> when you completely mess up, just completely remove. I wish. <laughs> of pearly white or beige on the bone just beneath the brow she's taking her finger emphasizes the bone structure oh and she's literally eyeliner Wait. is used eyeliner already oh, slow it down she literally took her finger it went like this like a little highlight she goes what you guys what highlighting who everyone on youtube sit down okay so we're just gonna highlight our brow bone whoa okay she's really not like not not giving me bad advice Okay, voila. There should be no hard, obvious line. Okay, girl. 
eyeliner. As close to the lashes as possible. Oh. And remember, black can only be worn by girls with very black hair. What? The flattering shade for blondes or brunettes. It's not flattering. Black adds harshness to the eye. Oh. Back then, they were not about that life. If you had blonde hair, you could not wear black liner. Like, they were not about it. Well, times have changed, sweetie. All right, so she did the bare minimum liner. I'm talking like I've never seen my eyeliner that basic. But we're gonna do it. <laughs> so let's pull out, what the hell is this? Black Ground from MAC, a pro longwear pot. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna take the JS14 Morphe Jeffrey brush which is a very thin detailer. Hi. I cannot believe she took this and she went like barely on that eye like that. It's like the thinnest liner I've ever worn. Imagine this is my everyday look. Oh, wow, this feels so weird. All right, so she's already ready for mascara. I don't know how or, uh, but here we go. Mascara makes lashes look longer and fuller. Yes, they do. Incidentally, no amount of eye makeup will help if your eyes are drowsy and lackluster. <laughs> to be wide-eyed and alert, a full measure of sleep is necessary. Oh, a full measure of sleep. This, she's really reading everyone to the ground. No amount of eye makeup, baby. You <laughs> All right, let's do the mascara. I'm going in with the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. Um, I've been using this for a few months now, you guys, since my video of full face of brands that don't hate me yet. Um, and I've really loved it. When something stays on my desk, that means it actually really works and I'm enjoying it. All right, mascara is done. I'm feeling a little bit more like myself. I feel a little, still nude. Okay, here we go. The right food definitely relates to the clearness and sparkle of your eyes. Mm. Vitamin A and plenty of water are essential for this. She said the right food. If you don't have the right food, your eyes aren't sparkling. <laughs> Separate the lashes with a clean brush. All right, girl, stop. The generally accepted age for wearing lipstick is about 14. Oh, okay. A subtle color is the most becoming. The most becoming. To apply lipstick, prop your elbows firmly on the table. Ah! the chin with one hand while steadying the action with your oh my hand. god it's genius Start from the center of the upper lip okay hold on hold on hold on hold on this is good y'all i've never seen like a, a tutorial like this i'm shook all right we're grabbing our js24 lip brush and i'm going in with skin tight velour liquid lipstick oh my god okay so we're gonna do her trick elbow on the table chin like, she, I think it's a little like this. Hold on, we gotta do it again. This is hilarious. To apply lipstick, prop your elbows firmly on the table, supporting the chin with one hand while steadying the action with oh. your drawing hand. Okay, okay. Start from the center of the upper lip, drawing a oh, curve to the outer corner. I already flopped. On the lower lip, oh. start at the corner and come to the center with a brush laid flat. Oh. Fill in with the brush or the lipstick itself. Blot the excess. Oh my God, she just really killed it. Okay, the chin mist thing. Um, can you imagine she just pops up? Use code Marie for 20, <laughs> she has a Morphe code. Okay, lip is done. What else could she possibly, she pulls out a Morphe spray. <laughs> she pulls out Urban Decay. Hi, all nighter. Okay, let's, here we go. For a softer, smoother look, apply a lip gloss. Oh! Remember, lips need protection as well as the skin. They sure do, Miss Thing. Look at her in the sun. If oh, now there's- If you prefer not to wear a lipstick, do wear a lip gloss. Oh, you have lip to wear one. Lips can be changed. Lip shapes example, can be changed. Yes, ombre. Thin lips can be corrected by overpainting. Overpaint, overdrawing. Lips can be narrowed by covering them with. Why would you want to narrow? Then using color only toward the inside of the lips. Yeah, I'll just do the center. Too wide lips can be made less obvious. Oh my God! The outer corners with base. Skin blemishes cannot be entirely avoided by most young girls. <laughs> Makeup can conceal them. Wait, 
At the end of the video, she's now talking about concealing pimples. That is so funny. Makeup can't conceal everything, girl. She's taking a weird white, what is that? Okay, 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 okay. Diet and cleanliness can often prevent them. A good diet and cleanliness will, will stop pimples, you guys. Most important, never pick or squeeze a blemish. It makes matters worse. <laughs> well, I, okay. Wow, the tutorial, oh, she just pulled off her hair. Her, oh! And then the dog. <laughs> what is the bobblehead? <gasps> That's all. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <sighs> that was it, it's done. That was funny. It was kind of quirky and kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, can I actually look at myself for a minute? Okay, it's a basic, simple, cute makeup look. Like, I would do this and like go to the office, you know what I mean? Like, whoa, why does the foundation look snatched? That cotton thing, this? Why did it set my face like really well? I'm not kidding, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this in HD? <sighs> okay, you guys, that was a wild journey. That was nine minutes of my life that I, I, I don't know. Not that I don't even want it back, because this is fun. Um, I get why my grandma sent it. That was very funny. The tone of everything, it was almost like a sex operator. Like, she was so smooth. Okay, we gotta give a shout out for, um, the makeup consultant was Maria Craig. That's whose voice was it back then. And the model is Raina Alden. Girl, uh, listen. <gasps> okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I read you the first comment in the video, you guys? Why does she look 16, but also 35 at the same time? Oh my God, look at this comment! Surprised she didn't push her Morphe discount on us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Okay, okay, okay. The only makeup tutorial I've ever seen that talks about proper eating and sleeping habits. Oh my god, I've never trusted anyone more than I trust the lady narrating. <laughs> Okay, I look great. I feel good. That that was really fun. Uh, Grandma, thank you. Okay, I really appreciate it. I know you support me and watch my channel, and you have seen me grow and blossom into um, who I am today, and I definitely would not be um, the woman that I am if it was not for you and your guidance when I was little. So, thank you so much. Um, this was really fun, you guys. Sound off below. What was your favorite part? What stuck out to you? The tutorial, uh, it may be life changing. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I may have a new way of doing my base because I'm looking at the monitor and like, what? Marilyn Monroe, what? Miss Thing? Okay, I'm feeling the fantasy. I'm gonna go have an orgy and I will talk to you guys very soon. Mwah! Until next time, I don't even know. I need a hit. Bye, guys. <laughs>